Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. Today I am super stoked. We will be opening up my first ever Pokemon booster box. Not only is it just a booster box, but it's also the new release from Astral Radiance Sword and Shield. So, without further ado, let's get right into the opening. Alright, first pack from a booster box. Here we go. As you guys know, I do struggle to uh, open some of these packs. So, here we go. I'm not going to take too much time to do uh, code cards and like sort through everything because with there being 36 packs, this will take a lot of time. So, here we go. Scyther, Eevee, Heracross, Teddy Ursa, Gardenia, and Braviary. <clears throat> so, just make a couple different areas to sort the cards. Yeah, I mean, MSRP for this thing, it's not as much as I was expecting. It's like 120 bucks for 36 packs, so that averages out to, I guess, not that much. It's probably like 3 bucks, somewhere around there, with uh, when it comes to pack pricing. So, like, buying in bulk with anything is always the best way to go, right? A top. And Hisuian Lilligant. Let's go, man. That is a gorgeous card. Love that sleeve that up normally i don't sleeve on camera but with this being a longer video i don't want the dust to collect on the hollow because i know it can scratch it so <clears throat> you will be sleeving on camera for like the first time ever but yeah so buying in bulk i mean that's always the way to go when it comes to like reducing cost so I think this might be the way to go from now. Normally, I'm like always trying to buy like the different products and everything like that, like the new um, the Cleaver box and uh, like the Lucario V. Ooh, Leafeon. We will be keeping that as a hit. I will sleeve that up so that way it goes to my uh, my Evolution collection. But um, yeah, I'm just rambling on, trying to fill in the void of the video, but. What I'm trying to say is, I'm just really excited to be opening this up, man. Like, words cannot describe. As a kid, I didn't really get to, like, open up too many Pokemon cards. So, like, as an adult, you get to spend your adult money on kid things. Pretty dope. <clears throat> but, I'm just trying to get some hits. What we are looking for is, uh, Trainer Art Galleries. Trainer Art Galleries are my number one chases. Uh, alternate arts are always welcome. Don't get me wrong, the Palkia is a, uh, a chase card as well. But, uh, yeah. Not looking to go too crazy. Just, just excited to be open in this stiff. But yeah, let me know, because I've been hearing the pull rates are a little abysmal with Astral Radiance. Like, you do get a lot of pulls, but not a lot of quality pulls. So, I want to know what your guys' experience with this is. Another white coat card. Man, there seem to be a lot of those. One, two, three, four. Hopefully we get more hits on the back end. Dual deck. Super effective glasses. Cricketune, Ponyard, Growlithe, Voltorb, Shefflet, Ponita, Basculin, and Hisuian Arcanine. That's really weird that that's a fighter type. You think Hisuian Arcanine with it like coming out of the volcano and everything, you think it would be like a fire type. But it's not. Alright, cool, we got a black code card. Hopefully there's a hit in this one. So, one, two, three, four. Have yet to get a V-Star marker for the, uh, the energy. Overquill, Komodo, Jubilee Village, Swinub, Ponyta, Cricketot, Psyduck, Swinub, and... Deancey? 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 I don't know how to pronounce it, guys. My bad. But, we will be sleeving it. A hit is a hit. Regardless, I know a lot of people like to go for, like, the complete binders and everything like that. I'm not one of those people because, although I do have adult money, I don't have a lot of adult money to be spending on, like, entire complete collections. That would be sick, though. But, not, not, not at this point in life, man. Could not be me. <clears throat> Alright. Switch card. The shark, Azelf, Eevee, Heracross, 
Kid Ersa, Mantine, Voltorb, Quillfish, Machamp V. Hey, there we go. There's a hit. That is an awesome looking card, man. He's just punching at us. That's sick. Let's leave it up. I always use these uh these Pokemon tins that I have, like this one. <clears throat> I use this as like a little quick grab. I store some uh extra Pokemon cards in there. I also store uh my sleeves, my top loaders, all that good stuff. They're pretty good for just you know like keeping handy so we don't have to like dig through a closet or under a bed or go through like binders and stuff. Like it's all just like right there, man. Easy to grab. Is that three? One, two, three, four. Can we get a leaf energy? Absolutely not. If you've been watching the channel, you guys know how it goes, man. We do not get leafs. Leafuses. Toss. Cinderquill. Quillfish. Getsy pickaxe. And Regice. That was Regice. Maybe that's like the whole form. I don't know. <clears throat> If you guys played Legends Arceus, let me know if you like that game. Because I haven't played any other real Pokemon games, except for Legends Arceus, and Legends Arceus got me hooked, man. Like, for being my first, uh, my first Pokemon game, I definitely 100% of that Pokedex. I wanted to get the Shiny Charm, start collecting Shinies. I was getting really into it. I don't think a lot of people get into Pokemon at, like, such an age of, like, 24. Sweet Honey, and Dark Rye V. Another hit, baby. Let's go. Check that out. Dark Rye is cool, man. He's like a Grim Reaper. Sleeve her up. <clears throat> but yeah, Legends Arceus went hard, man. I was... Farming for a Spirit Tomb was annoying. Like, trying to do that without a guide was ridiculous. For, like, maybe, like, the last, like two or three i had to give in and get a guide because i was like dude i i can't be putting this much time into this man this is ridiculous grand electrode growl with bronze or quillfish growlet glaceon let's go man that's a hit of my book and origin form palkia a double hitter man glaceon reverse hollow and palkia it's looking good for the ev collection that is for damn sure. So, sleeve up the Palkia. Throw it over there. Sleeve up the Glaceon. <clears throat> it's really nice whenever you, uh, you're not just going for hits, right? You're going for like your own like collections and stuff like that. So even though it is a like, like say if you ran into a white code card, there's still a possibility that something in there is going to be grabbing your attention because, you know, not everything people collect is hits. So, like, that Glaceon, for instance, that would be a white code card. So people would be like, oh, man, it's not a hit. But, for me, it is. Hey, there is our V-Star marker. Not that it matters, but V-Stars are dope. <clears throat> we got Pilliswine, Choi, Yanmaga, Strevis, Scyther, Eevee, Heracross, Rufflet, and Mamoswine. I didn't think it would be so much effort to open up so many packs. In order to, like, stop you guys from, like, hearing, like, the background sound and everything like that, I have to turn off the fan so it gets extremely hot in here. And, uh, normally I work out every day, but, uh, I think this is my workout. I think opening up Pokemon cards is my sad excuse for a workout today. Because I am sweating. Ralts, Sneasel, Mystery of Us, Hesulian, Growlithe, and Adamon. Hey, he was really cool in the game. He never doubted us for a second, man. Adamon was dope. Hits a hit. Cool. Yeah, definitely want more of these trainer art galleries. But it's okay, man. I'm enjoying this. This is the most packs I've ever opened up in a session by far. Usually I go for like 10. If you watch the videos, you'll notice I go for like 10 or like a, um, you know, whatever, uh, 
whatever, uh, I guess, like, box I can run into at the store, I'll open that up. But it's never any more than ten. Ooh, Radiant Greninja! Check that out, man! That is my first Radiant card. I know that's, like, their version of the Shinies in this. So that is sick. And then my Diana. Yo, let's go. I didn't know that they were in the trainer gallery slot. That is sick. Greninja is so cool. I like how he has the scarf. One thing I wonder with Pokemon, right, is like Greninja. Is he like born with the scarf? Or like uh, Machamp? Is he born with like underwear on? Or does he like, you know, get that? Like, uh, what, what, what's another good example? Um, Cubone. Do all, do all Cubone's moms die? Like, is that just like how it goes and then they all wear their mom's skulls? It's pretty, it's pretty morbid. But like, for like, clothes, right? Like, um, is it like part of their anatomy? Do they all just get that? Like, did they ever answer that in actual Pokemon lore? Who knows, man? I sure don't. But if you do know, please leave a comment, let me know, because I'm genuinely curious. It's not something I want to, like, Google, right? Like, I want to be, like, wondering about that. I am curious to all the champs get underwear as they grow older and evolve. <clears throat> Our second V-Star marker. Let's go. Hold on. Heavy Ball. Hoot Hoot. Cricket Hot. Billfish. Scyther. Magneton. And Shaman. Shaman's really cool. Running into him in Arceus, I was so confused because he blends in with the grass and he's like right where you start in the game but like off to the right if you're running down the hill. So I was really confused. I did not see him. I had to hear him. One, two, three, four. Can we get a leaf energy? Absolutely not. You know how it goes, baby. Paraglide, Yuxi, Togepi, Combi, Chitot, Drifloon, Psyduck. Ooh, Shadow Rider Calyrex VMAX Trainer Art Gallery. That is a gorgeous trainer, trainer art gallery. Love that for me, man. Ooh, and a Hisuian Sneasler double hit. Let's go, dude. That'll be a nice little short right there. <clears throat> so, let's sleeve these babies up. It is just, like, non-stop hits. In the beginning, it was a little bit slow in the booster box. I was getting a little bit nervous, but, like, you know, it is what it is, man. I guess sometimes these just take time to build up. Cool. Moving on to the Dialga packs. So, just to, just to make conversation, right? Is it Dialga? that's your favorite or is it Palkia? I know a lot of people like Dialga. Unfortunately, I side with Palkia and I know I'm going against the grain a little bit, but I just think that Pearl is better than Diamond. I've never played the game, so I'm not judging the games. I'm just saying like, you know, Pokemon color base wise. Ooh, Phalanx trainer art, back to back trainer arts, guys. Let's go. That's awesome. Love that for us. That is a gorgeous card. <laughs> But yeah, when it comes to Diamond and Pearl, I just I just side with Pearl more. It just seems cooler to me, I guess. <clears throat> but I know that is a little bit against the grain. I don't think I've earned my stripes when it comes to the it comes to the Pokemon community yet. So take it with a grain of salt, because I have not played the games. I just really liked Pearl whenever it came to Arceus. I sided with them whenever oh no, it's spoiler alert territory. Spoiler alert, uh, cover your ears for like the next 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Yeah, so when you get kicked out of the village, I sided with Pearl for sure, man. Definitely not Diamond. But enough spoiler talk, because that is my bad. Ooh, Reverse Hollow Eevee. That is one for the Evolution Binder. Let's go, man. Killing it. Like I said, you can get a white code card and you can find a personal hit. It doesn't always have to be like a, like a money maker or anything like that. Check this out, right? This is becoming a fat stack of cards that I have to sort through. This is what it's looking like so far. And we're maybe, maybe halfway done, maybe. 
But that is a fat stack. I usually don't see, like, the bigger Poketubers, because, like, they, they're normally concerned with, like, the hits and stuff. I'm just here for the experience, you know? So, yeah, this is my first time seeing this in person. That is a fat stack of cards that I have to go through later. One, two, three, four. Can we get a Leaf Energy? Absolutely not, man. You know how it goes. Gabe Jaw, Magneton, Spicy Curry, Mantine, Quillfish, Basculin, Uchienna, Glamiel, Spicy Curry, and Cleavor. Cleavor was cool. Running into him in the uh, Darcy's game, that was nuts. Because I've never seen Cleavor, and I know that was a lot of other people's first time seeing him too. It had me nervous, man. I was like, what is this? I'm like, is this like a Scyther evolution? Is this like a brand new Pokemon? Super, super cool fight, though. Love that. <clears throat> One, two, three, four. Leaf energy. Come on, baby. Give it to us. Nope. It always comes whenever I forget to do the, pred the prediction. That's when I don't get it. Runs on. Stop. Drifting. Sad. Pseudo Ludo, Magnemite, Bronzong, and Glade Hollow. There we go. Check that out. Like a little rainbow going on in the background. Glade's cool, man. Finding a bunch of them in the uh, the snowy area in Arceus. That was cool. I know I keep going on and on about Arceus, but it's really the uh, the only reference I have, and it's kind of cool to see all these cards um, be involved with the only game that I've played. I can't say it's the only game because I did play a little bit of um, Sword and Shield, but like maybe like the first hour or two, I barely got out of the, the village. I mean, barely. I got to like the open area and then I stopped playing because I had to go to work and then I did not pick it back up. One, two, three, four. See, I forget to call it and now we get a leaf energy. That's how it works, man. Never call it. So, mm, Pure Gly, Roach, Eevee. Across. Ted Ursa. Whoa! Ice Rider Calyrex V Max. Did not expect that. That was off of a white bordered code card, too. It lied to us. That is awesome, man. It lied. Great. I mean, I'm glad it lied. Like, it called me. I'm a little bit in shock, to be honest. You can't tell. Definitely caught me off guard getting that one. <clears throat> that might be my first gold card, actually. I don't think I've ever pulled one. Oh, no, no, no. I did pull the uh, the lightning energy. If you look in one of the shorts, I pulled it. But, I mean, back then, I didn't really know what I was what I was doing. Another white border. See, now I don't trust it. I feel like it's lying to me. One, two, three, four. I feel like it's, it's lying to me now. Shield on. Stopped. Dude. Oh no, I spoiled it. I'm so sorry, guys. Magnemite, we got Kingdra. Yet another trainer art gallery. Yo, that is sick, dude. An Avalug. We're getting so many trainer art galleries. This is like our third or fourth one now. I didn't expect there to be this many. And because that's like my favorite thing to collect besides the EVs, I would say the trainer art galleries does trump it a little bit. But, hey, we're, we're making out. When it comes to the personal collection, I'm, I'm so happy with it. <clears throat> we are now down to Palkia and Desidui. Ooh, what'd you guys think of the water area? I keep seeing, like, Quillfish and Basculin and Basket Legion and all them. That water area in Arceus, that was super nice. I probably spent the most time there just like searching around. Like when I was looking for the um, the little wisps in order to get Spear Tomb, I was definitely not looking up guides there. I love that entire area. I just steal. <clears throat> like, there's not a lot of times in like video games where you stop and really like, you know, take in the scenery. But when it came to Arceus and um, Elden Ring, those are definitely the two games where I really stopped to, like, you know, smell the flowers. One, two, three, four. Can we get a leaf energy, please? Absolutely not, man. You call it, you're not going to see it. That's just how it goes. Pilo Swine. Super effective glasses. Mantine. Voltorb. Masculine. Lame Meow. 
Puchiana, Bisharp, and Bastiodon. He's pretty cool, man. He was uh, hiding in the mountain area whenever uh, you're going through Arceus. That mountain area, that was, it was okay. There was a lot of zigzagging for me. Wasn't the biggest fan of the scenery. Until you get like to the top of the mountain, then you're like looking down, you're like, oh, that's pretty cool. But like climbing it, not a fan, dude. Mountainous areas usually don't get me. It's like oceanic areas and flatlands. That's my, that's my cup of tea. I love that kind of stuff. Like hard greens and hard blues. That's what, <clears throat> that's what I look for. Not like browns and mountainous areas. I'm not into that stuff. Bronze ore. Ashwant. Hoot hoot. Rickatot. Flapple trainer art. Let's go, man. We just keep getting these trainer arts. I do already have this one. Oh, and Irida. <laughs> no way. It's a double hitter. Dude, let's go. And she's the pearl leader, so... That is definitely one. I want to get the full art trainer of Irida. Irida is so cool. But I did already get a Flapple previously. That just means I can trade this one for um, another trainer art. Because, what is it? I have a binder where I have like all of my, my hits. And I'll show that in a separate video. But I have a binder with all my hits. And then I have another binder for my personal collection. The front part is uh, separated by uh, trainer art galleries, whereas the back of the binder is like my evolutions and stuff like that. <clears throat> One, two, three, four. You see me looking over to my right? <clears throat> it's because I'm trying to make sure that my uh, my computer isn't running out of memory and just stops recording on me. So that would not be cash money to just have it like shut off on me. That would suck. Teddy Yersa. Sneasel, Temple of Sinnoh, and Hesuian Digi Decidui V-Star. That is our second V-Star of the night. Hey, let's go, man. They just keep coming, hit after hit. These booster boxes, they go hard. I've had a lot of luck with the, um, what is it? The, uh, what are they called? The blister packs. If you, go, if you ever go to GameStop, right? Because GameStop has really good priced blister packs. And they're just like the, some people call them hangers. Um, if you get those, I've gotten a lot of hits from those. The thing that made me start the channel was because I did grab a bunch of blisters. And uh, they had two of the uh, Charizard alternative arts from Brilliant Stars. And I was like, oh my god, dude, my luck is so good. I gotta start a YouTube channel. And then I start a YouTube channel and the hits aren't as frequent or as powerful but those uh <clears throat> those those hangers or blisters those are what definitely inspired me to do this so if you ever feel like you know taking a risk and you're not getting like if you just want some packs grab those hangers or blister packs man those things go hard i would say what i've had the worst luck with is uh, whenever there's like a new expansion coming out, they have the uh, the Eeveelution packs. And of course I'm gonna grab them because as you know, I like Eevee. But the hits, not there. Not in the least. Hoot hoot, cricket talk. Lanyao and Hisuian Samurott. That is awesome, man. Look at that, that is a nice looking card. I'm telling you, hard blues and hard greens, they go hard. Love them. <clears throat> So we got Decidui and Samurott. That'd be, that'd be nice. Do they all have these sorts? I don't even know. I don't even know what the set list looks like. I definitely didn't do my research before jumping into this. I was just really excited. I've had this booster box here for a couple days now, just sitting waiting for the opportunity. Because if you guys don't know my personal life, I have a wife and kid, and they they take up they take up some time, right? But uh. You know, you gotta wait for the kid to go to bed, you gotta wait for the wife to not go to bed to where she's out in the living room, because, you know, we, we live on base housing, so recording in this room, you gotta find the perfect timing to, to really record these videos. So if there's ever points in time where I'm not uploading videos, and I know for me, it's like, it's like a majority of my day, but for like the viewers and stuff, like you guys, you know, you're not always spending all of your time as much you're not spending as much time watching the video as it takes to make the video right 
and obviously that's common sense. But uh, if I'm ever not uploading a video, that's usually because I got something going on. <clears throat> so I like to interject my shorts on the days that I'm not uploading. Look at that leaf, didn't call it. So I like to interject my shorts on the days that I'm not uploading. We got Ralts, Sneasel, Miss Dravis, and Petelio, Petelio, and Heatran V. Whoa, look at the color scheme on that bad boy. That is sick. Dang, Heatran, he was a, he was another one of the big boys in the game. The stack of hits is really starting to pile up. I see, I see, kind of see what people are saying, right? So, not quality hits, but the quantity of hits is there. So it's keeping, like, like kids engaged, but, like, the people that are looking to, like, uh, like, resell the cards that they pull for, like, money and stuff, like, you're not getting as much. Because <clears throat> if you're trying to flip Pokemon cards, it's probably going to, like, stay like this, where it gets, like, really hard to do. Let's go, we got our third V-Star marker. It's probably going to become a little bit harder because they are printing out, you know, more hits. But they're not quality hits. They're not ones that you're going to make money off of because they are so frequent. Scyther, Stantler, Pseudo Udo, Basky Legion. Oh, dude, he's so cool. I loved Basky Legion. He's like one of the mounts that you can ride in Arceus. And being able to like double jump with him or like freeze midair. Not really freeze, but like slow down time in order to like throw a ball before the Pokemon can react. Super cool. I hope they I hope they continue that in the future. I know the 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 new game is like having some announcements. In fact, a new trailer comes out tomorrow for the new game. But uh, yeah, I hope they continue like that mount system and like the way you catch the Pokemon and everything. Like you're not just like you know walking through grass or anything. Because I've seen I've seen videos. Like I'm not fully uh <clears throat> educated on it, but I do know that like like how how the games went because i have a lot of buddies that are in the pokemon like um you see uh for my what is it called my submissions videos uh wesley rare he he was actually the one who got me into pokemon and so i'm really thankful that he's like you know into this whole thing and he teaches me about like all the older pokemon stuff and all that so i do have i do have someone showing me the ropes I was not there for them when I was younger. So it's pretty dope. Swinub, Nicket, Atelial, Bergmite, Hootoot, and Typhlosion V, baby. Let's go. That completes it. That's that's all three starters and V are better. I mean, we got here, let me pull them out, man. We got we got Samurott, Decidueye, and Typhlosion. There's Typhlosion, Samurott. And Desidui. Let me know who you guys went with in the, in the beginning of the game, right? Because Desidui. All right. So I have an irrational fear of owls, but I still went with Desidui because I was like, you know what? I I felt I felt like a connection with him above like all the other ones. Because I was like, yeah, all right, their their later evolutions look cool, but like, man, like Rowlet, dude, you can't beat that. We got three packs left, almost to the end. And my recorder still hasn't shut off on me because I am taking my sweet ass time with this. <clears throat> code card, one, two, three, four. Again, I'm not trusting that white code card anymore, man. It lied and gave me a hit. <laughs> kind of glad I got lied to because it caught me by surprise, but it is a liar regardless. Petelial, that was how you pronounce that. Hippopotas, Electrode, and overquill let's go baby i did hear a rumor that every um booster box does have a gold card in that and that was true for this booster box so that is interesting not upset about it at all but again there's a lot of rumors when it comes to this uh this hobby this whole pokemon opening hobby you just don't know what's true until you do it yourself, right? You got Psychic, Roxanne, Elena, Rots, and Weasel, Mesodrivus, Scyther, Cleavor, and Regirock. Last pack, ladies and gentlemen. Last pack, and then we'll review the hits. I'll show you this fat stack of cards. And then uh, 
we'll end the video. Again, though, I really do appreciate you guys checking this video out. As a smaller YouTuber, it is so nice to know that I actually do have a community and you guys are here for it. Unfortunately, it is a white code card, but they do lie. As you know, I do not believe in last pack magic, so kind of hoping that there isn't a hit so that way, you know, it comes to fruition that last pack magic does not exist. There is our, I believe it's our fifth V-Star? Mantine, Scyther, Basculin, Voltorb, Glamio, Choi, and Glaceon again. I will sleeve this one up, right, because I do keep a copy of an evolution in my binder, and then I keep a copy for trade because other people do collect EVs. It's a very common thing to collect. So, here is the fat stack of cards that came in this box. Oh my god. There it is. I have little tiny baby hands, but that is a fat stack of cards regardless. And, for the hits. <clears throat> Got Lilligant, Leafeon, Deancey, oh man, bear with me on some of these, Machamp, Darkrai, Palkia, Glaceon Reverse Hollow, Ottoman, Radiant Greninja, oh you can't really see it down there, Sneasler, we got Shadow Rider Calyrex, Phalanx, Reverse Hollow Eevee, Glade, we got Ice Rider Calyrex, Kingdra, Bestiodon, Irida, Heatran, Lapple, Decidueye V-Star, Samurott V, Typhlosion V, and just a regular Glaceon. So, uh, that is a lot of hits, man. Not gonna lie. Um, that's all I got for the video. If you guys watched throughout this whole thing, thank you so much for the support. It, it means a lot to me, for sure. Um... But yeah, that, that's the end of it. That is my first ever booster box. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Have a good night, good morning, good evening, and good luck on your pulls. Thanks, guys.